Ah, welcome to this edition of What the Fuck? Happenings here in Mendham and such. Yes. Uh, anyway, so appropriate video in the background, hopefully. Some sort of something. I'm trying to learn how to use uh, the video functions on these cameras and actually do macro and keep things in focus, which really can't do. Can't zoom anyway. Anyway, but we'll see. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, so yeah, uh, get the same old raggy comments, and you know sometimes they're uh, correct in some respect, in the sense that um, you know I've been doing this for ten years, and it's <laughs> you're the same shit all over again, and there hasn't been much of uh, any progress. Um, uh, not moving mountains or hills or anything much with all of this um, talking. Um, my counter is what's the option? Um, <laughs> you know, I was in the past more entertaining. Uh, I made some effort to be, and it really wasn't rewarded. So um, I don't think that's really what it is. Um, I think it's just mostly people are seeking things that validate them in some respect or give them some new method of validation some new way to like themselves or some kind of crap like that and um, I usually am arguing for new ways to find yourself repugnant and disgusting uh, <laughs> pretty much um, you know to be what we are, <clears throat> you know, nature sort of is the enemy here. Uh, there's no devil. There's there's just this stupid, selfish human nature um, of the the consuming animal that's programmed. Um, and uh, you know that brings up another idiotic comment from that stupid Chastain whatever thing that I finally block that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tinfoil hat loony. Um, but just this, you know, arguing again that somehow the the psychotic criminal types or something are, are profoundly, you know, in some completely different category of human. And, you know, it's a manifestation of some devil, devil mechanism. And they really aren't. They're just marginally different than the rest of us in terms of some simple change in their preferences um, they have a they have a clog in their <laughs> gratification mechanism and uh, it becomes a, a bind that compels them to do things that are really antisocial unproductive for themselves and for society in a sense um, but they're not uh, the monsters um, in the sense that they're stupid, in the sense that they have a silly philosophical uh, twist on reality that makes them find them their own behavior justifiable. But, again, that is, it's just in the amount, because everybody rationalizes. Everybody finds excuses for um, how much they smell, or whatever defects and whatever imperfections they have, they tend to find some way to say that isn't important because I have very straight eyebrows and very straight eyebrows are really cool and, you know, don't need a big penis then. Some kind of crap like that. Um, but it's all this, you know, it's just silly psychology. And, um, so anyway, so it's understanding your nature and then, you know, so the the other stupid commenter that shows up to do his got thing, got, 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 uh, <laughs> John Plant, something like that. Anyway, he, um, you know, throws in little mumbo jumbos here of um, bullshit, and he said something like, uh, I don't even believe in evolution or something like that, I don't buy it or whatever. And um, so again, I make the argument, if you don't understand your enemy, you can't do anything about the enemy. And the enemy is evolution. The enemy is that we have been designed to fight. Um, uh, and essentially each other. We're 
war machines. And that's what all the other great apes are doing. They routinely have wars with each other. Yeah, they don't get to do it on the scale we do. You know, because they don't have tanks and planes and air forces and, you know, can't cover hundreds of miles. But they do fuck their neighbors over quite regularly and royally. As did the Native American Indians before the evil Europeans showed up to fuck it up. They were already fucking each other over pretty well. Um, and that's always been the design, the natural design, is that any variation is um, to be tested against the other varieties. And <laughs> they're not going to test each other if they like each other. <laughs> so there's not going to be a contest. And evolution is about the contest. It's about the competition. And that's been a reoccurring theme in most of my videos, is this idea of this completely unnecessary um, compulsion to win. And that taken, you know, as, as a, the, the glorification of that. And, and I've used the silly examples. <laughs> Rob an egg in the middle of the yard. <laughs> Deposited properly, not natled. Very good. Um, so, um, where was I? Competition, you know, the whole mocking of the Olympics and, you know, just any contest will do. It doesn't matter what kind of silly thing you have people do just so we can celebrate winners and laugh at the losers or mock them or <laughs> whatever. Um, eh, cats. Deaf and blind, which isn't good. Um... Anyway, it's too depressing. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So, but this is that's the, the that's what's running inside all of us, and um, in a way, it even leaks into um, the simple act of describing reality. And this ends up being some sort of competition. You know, who's an imbecile and who's right, and you know, who thought it through completely and correctly, and you know who's a dumbass who got duped by the Borg and blah, 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 blah. And uh, so it's all a contest in the end. Not in the end, but in the, in the routine of living, everything gets turned into some kind of tacky contest. Giant thistle. Prickly, but interesting. I don't know what ate at it this year, but they are interesting plants. Uh, weeds, <laughs> you know, they really called them a plant. Um, so, um, I gotta find a better camera. This one has a shitty audio, but, uh, I like the focal length for videos. Anyway, not your problem. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> the crap that leaks into one's brain as they're thinking, you know, the connections that are made. Sometimes amazing. My back hurts. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, the apples seem to be doing, you know, they ate a couple of them, but they're growing. It's getting very apple y in there. Tried a few different techniques, but they haven't bothered some of the unprotected ones, so I'm feeling kind of good about that. But anyway, let's we'll see what happens. Something will. Uh, Things usually rain on my parade one way or another. So anyway, um, so yeah, this is the theme. The theme is this is our nature. The only way we can defeat our nature is to understand the forces that made us and constructed us. And uh, this whole conversation is overcoming this Borg and just being free of, um, you know, these the small game and realize there's a bigger game to play. Um, you know, when it comes to being productive and, and um, properly utilizing this big giant brain, everybody. All the humans are bragging about how big their brains are. We have such a big brain. But they're not <laughs> demonstrating that it's very large. You know, especially when they're giving people gold medals for, you know, jumping up and down the fastest. That's pretty silly. Um, incredibly excessive rewards for falling out of vaginas 
you know, in, in you know, the rich hospital, <laughs> you know, the poor hospital, or some kind of bullshit like that. I mean, you know, we're demonstrating our brains can't be all that uh, big, <laughs> you know, in any kind of uh, working big way. Maybe the neurons are bigger, but it doesn't seem to work any better, or they're, they, it seems like number doesn't mean function, because um, we seem uh, insistent, you know, on being overtly uh, stupid, you know, endorsing stupid, grossly stupid, <laughs> you know, obnoxiously stupid, plainly stupid, um, undefensibly stupid things that are the definition of what we call our American values, or our Western values, or blah blah blah, and they're all just crap. So, oh, that's a good picture, and I don't have the right camera for it. Why do you cats do this? You do something cutish when I have the wrong camera. Yes, very annoying. Anyway, yeah, I just feel bad. Brown one really doesn't know where the fuck anything is. Ah, anyway. Okay, so that's probably enough for this installment. I'll maybe add some later. Uh, or something. Some review of the videos done, and the arguments made maybe, or something like that. I don't know. It's also getting a little breezy. Um, yeah, keep trying. But that's all I can do is I can just make arguments if, if people ignore them and are uninterested. There's <laughs> not much I could do about that. Um, you know, except make a different argument. That would be uh, counterproductive, I think, pretty obviously. So, uh, yes, go ahead, point your finger, say I'm doing it wrong, but I really don't know what the definition of doing it right is. Uh, in terms of all you can do is uh, attempt to put facts in some sort of package and say, see, see how they all fit together and you know, it's not too hard to understand that, uh, you know, the, the crap that's cycling in your head was crap put there by the system. A bunch of systems, a bunch of things that don't have um, a great deal of integrity. And even the ones that do, even the smart people have been stupid. <laughs> so you can't even trust which you've been given by the Einsteins, literally. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think it's quite as good as they think it is. Anyway, uh, till the next, uh, moment. <laughs> or whatever. Uh, and such. Now-ish. Ah, it's me, back again. Yes, did you knew it would be me. So, no surprise there. And, uh, yeah, the subject, still kind of thinking on the subject of just um, having subjects, trying to um, do something compelling um, that changes something, makes something happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of interesting, conceptually, uh, with the physics thing again, just because of it's all about just following the changes um, and um, you know, don't have that in this f effort. So energy expended um, input, mm, output anyway, um, and um, less than dazzling consequence for the energy. It just kind of dissipates and scatters and flies out in little bits, maybe. And um, nothing dramatic, no chain reaction, no um, event uh, noticeable. 
recognizable um, beyond the communication with other people um, seeking um, some sort of, um, if not validation, just some sort of comfort in um, recognizing that um, maybe they're not crazy after all. Um, and, you know, there's something right in feeling and sensing and experiencing a sense of wrong in the world, in your life, in the way things are, in how we're constructed. So again, back to the construction and trying to simplify it and reduce it into <clears throat> some sort of condensed, powerful form. Uh, you know, maybe it has to be a fairy tale of something. Maybe it, maybe it needs to be a little cartoon script with characters. Maybe it needs to be something um, in that form. Um, but it's just this simple idea that you recognize the nature of our processing. The fact that we're conditioned by traditions and cultures and the familiarity um, that we gain attachments to certain particular kinds of things. Um, we enjoy uh, baseball more than football or uh, some kind of food rather than some other food because of the experiences we had. We like certain kinds of movies for lots of these arbitrary reasons in the sense that the reasons have nothing to do with any real um, disciplined rational structure some reason, decision to make you into that kind of person. It's just that that's the, the pit you slipped into um, of um, experiences. Um, what made you happy? What made you sad? What, what uh, satisfied you? And what tormented you in your experience? And you end up with a certain disposition of likes and dislikes and a certain perception of your value or importance or the necessity to do some thing. I could pick any number of things that I do that are more just, that are therapies in a sense, um, in the sense that there are things I can control, like maybe gardening. Um, and I have some perception of some purpose in doing this, um, some value that's derived. And whether it's in the activity itself of keeping busy, um, um, having something obvious produced, like maybe a tomato or two, and some pretty flowers or something, um, but even the idea of what, of those aesthetic things is again just more conditioning, you know, which kind of flowers I like and blah blah blah. And you know, it's all just it's all just crap. And and <laughs> you just live a life <clears throat> for these silly crap values. <clears throat> and the price for that is to watch the things that you might genuinely care about <clears throat> or worry for or be involved with in some way, um, wither and die <clears throat> um, over and over often. <clears throat> Through your lifetime you'll experience these uh, crises and um, the, you know, for many people these are things just to step over. For some of us, for the same, I guess, reasons as other things become um, meaningful or valuable to us, they're not step-overables anymore, and uh, they um, become unacceptable as a price to pay 
for a trivial experience of writing yourself a little story about how you're, um, you know, one of the three bears or something, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Maybe you have a Jedi story, maybe you have some other story, but it's all just a story of your life to be lived for this function of a gathering some sort of thing you call an accomplishment. And most of those are tainted. Even when we have good ambitions, like, uh, I'm going to go out and cure cancer. What might be rolling in people's heads a little bit could be, I'll be famous. <laughs> you know, everybody will think I'm really great. Um, everybody will want to, you know, give me a Snickers bar. Um, I'll be very popular. Uh, whatever the thing is, you're not necessarily thinking about the absolute good that you might be doing, the real value of the thing to be accomplished. It'll be more about um, how how does it affect me? <laughs> and uh, as soon as you, you feel or sense your brain saying, what's in it for me, bell should go off. And it should say something like, that's the Tyrannosaurus talking. You know, that's the, that's the bug. That's the, the natural vice. And um, it's not the game you're supposed to be as a smart person or as a decent person. If you want to be either one of those, smart or decent, <laughs> they probably should go together. Um... You, that's not what you're playing for then. That's not the game you should understand is the only game that's going to matter. Now, it's hard to play the game any other way than in this personal way. I'll concede the point. Um, but that's why you have to have these little guilt bells and little bells of you're an asshole and bells that go off and they say, you're just angling for something and pretending you're doing something good to do it. It's like the vegetarian thing sometimes. You can just see how people sometimes are writing it as a self-esteem uh, badge and not so much as a um, there's a crisis that needs a solution. Because, you know, Frankly, one person going vegan isn't a solution. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a tiny, um, it's one thread in the weave of the band-aid kind of thing. You need a lot of threads before it can do its job or something like that. So, um, yeah, so it's just basically telling this story of your... Life is a fraud. Um, you're just a robot built by mostly negative instruments, uh, nature, and a um, depraved, weak-minded culture full of silly and nonsensical rules and ideals and um, trivial pursuits. Um, and it's gotten so crass and so obvious that you can see the formula in everything. Every commercial, every movie, every everything has the formula in it. You can smell it a mile away. Uh, the manipulations of your um, conventional little traditional emotions and blah, 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 blah. And... Uh, recognizing that that's what this is made out of shit shitty stories told by shitheads um, and that all of these any grand <laughs> any idea of any kind of grandness um, to your bug existence your consuming your ambition your ego is just rationalization. It's just bullshit you tell yourself to say it's okay to be a jackass. And 
maybe people need to say it's okay to make more jackasses because that's part of validating them being a jackass. They certainly can't, you know, make the argument that they're brilliant constructions just, uh, you know, with unbounded good potential. Um, you know, if they concede, yeah, don't make any more. That would be hard to say and also have the belief that there is magic in it. Yeah, it's no magic. You're just a sucky robot. Shitty one. You're just not even a good robot. You don't think very clean. <laughs> you don't you don't um you don't process the world in in anything but a bug like manner. So anyway, that's really the story. So it's finding some way to say this to people. Um, don't make bugs. Don't don't pretend um, you're worth it, because you're not. I mean, really, all the horror that happens on this planet. You could just take one example of it. Could it, could you really say my life is worth it? Take the the horrible stuff that happens. The the tortured child getting raped, beaten, and killed, um, you're worth it? Even though it happens just in one day, it's only one experience, you think you're worth that experience taking place? You're not. There's, there's nothing. You're not going to do anything. Great. You're just going to satisfy stupid hungers, stupid needs, that have manifested in you as as elements of some hierarchy that you're trying to um, gain uh, mastery of you know some you're trying to win <laughs> you know in the gladiator war and it's um, it's millions of years old and you can look at it and see that no one ever wins you just have a day where you hold up your sword and say, you know, I got. And then you're, you're going to lose it. And it's going to be taken away. And usually brutally. Um, you're not going to gracefully uh, fade into the wallpaper. It's going to happen in ways that are going to be quite humiliating and degrading and painful and again um, what's the how do you win in even love do you get the fun of watching the one you love suffer and die or do you get the fun of thinking about them having to um, live without your aid and comfort alone desolate afraid and you're not there to do anything about it there's no, there's no victories here all this pretense all this fluff and f f all this bullshit you know and uh, <clears throat> so yeah but to the the critics that say um, you're irrelevant. Um, who is isn't? I mean, other people might be hey, um, popular, but they're not saying anything that matters. I mean, their irrelevancy is in the fact that they're not doing anything useful, but um, organizing, you know, rounding up the Borgies, you know, to be marched into the, the grinder. Um, You know, they're like the, the Jews who helped the Nazis, <laughs> you know, calm the, calm the victims. Um, not, not something great to have written on your tombstone. So, um, yeah, so that's it. It's, um, it's a, it's a difficult battle. People are not very smart and they're belligerent and they're addicted 
and they're dependent. They have dependencies. And it's hard to break them of all of that all at once. And um, for many of us, um, it came naturally. We didn't have to be shocked by the truth because it happened in one little murder at a time. <laughs> it's the puzzle pieces of you've been fucked, you know, that writing on the wall. We saw it before it got um, blurred out by the Borg blinders or the, you know, the Borg whitewash. And uh, so we weren't so easy to fool. Um, we knew we were suckers. <laughs> yeah, we knew we were suckered um, into... Um, playing bad games with bad rules. So, there. Take that. So, that's but that's the job. It's just to cut it down. To it's just, just make it so simple. Cut it down to one word. Hussin, fluckin. Whatever. <laughs> like I said, it probably have to be one story. One little, one little fable. One little fish story, um, you know, that will um, leave no option but to accept the dismal truth of um, our dismal formation and the dismal origin of the bug, <laughs> the, the, the squirming thing. Um, and, uh, the fact that we've never really risen, risen, rose above it. We've just, um, you know, put lipstick on the praying mantis. Um, we've just lied about, um, the real game and the real character, um, the real motivations, the real crass, what's in it for me bullshit that does drive us too often. And all those lies are just woven in uh, to a bunch of social memes and traditions that uh, make people comfortable continuing to lie. <laughs> but anyway. Alright. You could just say the same thing another way, but I won't bother. So the point is, it's just a, it is a simple story. You just say the word, like I said, it really... I should just have to say evolution. And if anybody takes that subject seriously and thinks about it, they get it. Evolution doesn't make charming things. Even the pretty things are ugly in their function. They're, they're, you'll find something... Um, just consumptive in somewhere in its function. Um, parasitic. <sighs> the taker, the thief, the you'll find it. So anyway, said that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll move on. So won't go on and on. Won't blah 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 because yeah, there's nothing really yeah there's not much to respond to um, the rest of the humans are not really up to the conversation they're distracted by trivial nonsense you know uh, and their opinions that usually on most subjects are stupid they don't understand anything so I mean, all I can do is just keep playing people saying things, you know, playing their videos where they just say stupid shit about uh, what the future's going to do or how AI's going to do this or that. It's just all crap. And, um... Yeah. And those subjects aren't the important ones. But anyway. Yeah, whatever. 
<laughs> you know, whatever. I'll just, uh, doing the best I can. Sincerely. And uh, if I could think of some, you know, if, if there was a, a blueprint for this, there's just, you know, it's not the road that too many people travel. And uh, so there aren't very good directions to this um, Hail Mary passing thing, you know, this long shot taking. And um, so you just have to kind of wing it. And that's what I'm doing. But, you know, I might do it better as I continue to think through how you do um, communicate with people and how to more effectively use words. Um, maybe I'll more effectively use them. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm just saying. Uh, go ahead. I mean, it's okay to critique and insult, but um, I'm not done yet. We'll see whether I fail. We'll see how big a failure I am. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Wants his midnight snack. Alright. Until next time.